how are you? Okay, I wasn't going to film today, besides doing my morning mask. But look what game! <gasps> Universal Yums! I'm excited. <laughs> because the last box was from Italy. And, oh my gosh. Um, my sister, I kept leaving her chocolate. She has a table right where she sits in the living room and watches television. And I kept putting a piece of chocolate there every day for like five days. And she finally said, stop it. <laughs> but you know, chocolate, stop it. But she, she said she loved all of it except for the biggest bar. It was about that big. And uh, it was dark chocolate and raspberry. And she said, I was so excited when I saw that. And then I tasted it and threw it away. So, I just realized I don't have scissors over here. Give me one second. Aren't you glad I learned how to pause? Okay. Um, I don't know what country this is tonight. Uh, Universal Yums picks a country every month and they send you sweets, or snacks rather, from that country. Um, and I was very happy with... Italy. In the past, I also had Britain. I think Spain. I had Spain. I don't remember. But I've never been up unhappy. It's always been very fun. Uh, it's tw This box, I think, is $27 a month. Um... And they took the money out in the first of the month. Uh, it's what, the tw 19th, 20th of the month? I just read where it's from. Um, and I probably won't put this on until Tuesday. Um, and they send you stuff. I'm, 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 I'm bambling. Okay. Um, welcome to Turkey. Uh, Black Sea, Bulgaria, Bursa, Istanbul, Izmir, Akara, San Luft, I didn't, uh, Georgia, Iraq, Syria. Mediterranean, I can't say it's C. Alright, they want you to do a scoreboard. I don't because I don't keep everything. Um, find more favorite yums. If you love these yums from your box, you'll love these from the yum shop. Oh, very cool. Okay. Oh, that's right. There's a booklet. There is. All right. We have a booklet. You want to see what it looks like? Here. This is the presentation of Yum. Oh, Yum. They have some, um, something that looks like popcorners. Okay. This book tells about turkey. La la. And it also gives you a recipe. Yeah. Make carne uric, Turkish stuffed eggplant. Oh. Well, hello. That sounds good. And you know I've been wanting to be more vegetarian-ish. Um... What you might not, what you might know about turkey. Surfy Muslims are famous for their tolerance, their spiritualism, and their twirling. Sorry, swirling. The dervish's impressions, impressive spinning is an important ritual of 
Sufism believed to bring closer to God. Um, I learned about the Dur these people who spin on the amazing race. They made erasers do it. Um, what else is in here? Trivia Train, a public library in Akara exclusively features, and there's three or four uh, answers. Books picked from the trash, books with red covers, century old books, books written by high schoolers. I'm going to go with century old books. Number one. Oh, darn. Books picked from the trash? Well, good for them. Because you should never throw away a book. Number two. Uh, Zivari by Neighborhood and Instable is known for a highway with a speed limit of 120. And inter an internet famous cat. A squirrel sanctuary. Uh, Museum of Miniatures. Okay, I'm going to go with the Squirrel Sanctuary, number two. B. An internet famous cat. Okay, I'm going to keep going until I get one right. Uh, Yanyar Tass, a mountain near the town of... <clears throat> Sir Raleigh has been increasing height every two years, shifting due to constant earthquakes, burning for at least 2,000, 5,000, 2,500 years, swarming of mountain lions since 2002. I'm going to go with C, burning. For at least 2,500 years. That's three. Let's see. <gasps> oh my god! Uh, Yarnatas Flaming Stone has about a dozen flames on it. Side due to permanent gas vents. That constantly spew... Methane gas into the air. The flames are believed to have inspired the three-headed fire-breathing chimera in Homer's The Ilad. Ancient sailors have used them as landmarks for navigation. It's been burning for 2,500 years. That's a lot of gas. Okay, now we're into the snackage. What else is in here? Oh, and they also give... They tell you about um, the calorie count. Okay, first things first. This is what got me. Pop out. Honey mustard, corn and rice mini cakes. Oh, they have the, they have a sticker with the facts on it. The, this package is 110 calories. These are like, do I have any in here? Popcorners. They look, they don't look like popcorners. But. Popcorners has 220 calories. These are better. All right. We have a cute sticker. I didn't say it at first. I had yum kebabs and turkey. Is that a thing? <laughs> that would be awesome. Okay. I'm going to look into that. Um, savor on the sites. Salted roasted chickpeas. Oh, yummy. Turkey's flavorful, guilt-free obsession. Oh, 170 calories. I 
I love chickpeas. I think they're yummy. Alright, I'm going to have to speed up a little because I have to go to work. List nuts flavors. Hot paprika flavor corn. Oh, this is awesome. They have the servings on back. So there are like three servings, well, two and a half in this bag. And each serving is 120 calories. Oh. What? Oh, I wonder how, I wonder how hot that is. Where are you? Here you are. Toasted paprika corn nuts. Corn nuts tossed in spicy Turkish paprika. These... Corn nuts take us to the Black Sea coast, a mountainous area in northern Turkey known as corn country. Why? While wheat thrives in the rest of the country, it can only grow in it can't grow in the damp climate and steep rocky coastline. So corn is keen. Okay. Okay, I wanted. I didn't read about the pop-out crackers, whole grain and finger licking honey mustard. Here's an extra sticky fun fact. Every fall, we're talking about these, by the way. Oh. Um. Here's a. I already read that. Every fall, turkey producers the second most honey of any country in the planet and yet barely any is exported why because domestic demand is so high you can't blame turkey okay what are you you look interesting You know, when you get the box, you think, oh, well, there's not much in here. No, there's a lot in here. Okay. Barat Spice Cracker Chips. Seasoned with Turkey's famous spice blend. Do you love plain, boring snacks? If so, well, you're going to be seriously, you're going to seriously hate these crackers. And the rest of the box, for that matter. Every cranny of these midged rounds is packed with barat, a blend of spices that instantly popular all across the Middle East. And especially in Turkey. My mouth is beginning to water. Cocoa cream cookies. Um, cocoa cream mosaic cookies featuring Turkish tahani, hazelnut, and cocoa. Take a bite of this cookie and you'll taste the rich, smooth cocoa filling unlike you have ever had before. And there are a few reasons for that. Tahini is a traditional Turkish paste of ground sesame seed. Adds a touch of earthiness and the creamy nuttiness. That's hazelnut. Okay. Oh. Oh, here's that word again. Tahini. Halva. Vanilla. No smell of. Uh, turkey's crumbling sesame seed sugar transformation. 
In Turkey, it doesn't get more iconic than halva. The extraordinary crunchy ground sesame confection locals have been loving since the 11th century. A famous enthusiast was Suleiman the Magnificent, the Ottomans and Empire longest running Sultan. This little bar is 270 calories. That is going to be sweet. Um, do I have everything from the other? Yeah. Oh, no. New today snowball with coffee. Speckled with Turkey's famous coffee beans. The stuff on top of this. Right here. Coffee. Coffee beans. Look into the bottom of a Turkish coffee cup and you'll see something unusual. Tons of powder beans. Turkish. Turkish coffee is especially, especially made with unfiltered, unfiltered coffee beans, which are ground into a fine powder and simmered in with sugar water as long in a long handled pot called a seva. The result, a sugary, thick, rich, aromic coffee. That's like this yum. Just the coffee beans make Turkish coffee special. So to do real coffee flaking makes this white chocolate coconut cake supremely rich and decadent. That's not going to last after today. Do I have these? Are these you? You are these. Turkish Sour Watermelon Gummies. Turkey's most mouth puckering watermelons. Since 1967, the city of, I can't say it guys, has hosted Turkey's annual watermelon and cultural festival. They look good. I just saw something. <laughs> okay. Lemon and... No, well, that's not in here. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, I got you. Oh. Oh, well, hello. Delights. Date-filled cookies. Oh, I love dates. Oh. During et a fu, the Islamic holiday, making the end of a Ramadan fast, the streets of Turkey smell like two things, butter and dates. Three cookies, 150 calories. Um... What's next? Oh. Babito. Ice cream jelly gum. With fruit juice. Look at these. They're shaped like a little ice cream cones. Uh, two of these. No. Serving. There are six pieces. Are a hundred and fifty calories. <laughs> Blueberry, strawberry, and vanilla creamies. 
In summertime, locals don't just buy ice cream, they duel for it. An entertaining ice cream condition tradition involves customers trying to take Don Duma magic ice cream while vendors pull away with a stick with a slick sleight of hand. Oh, I know about that. Uh, Google or go on YouTube, well, after this video, and uh, Turkish ice cream. They do a little dance with ice cream. And they'll, they're like, oh, I'm handing it to you. Nope, no, I'm not. And it'll go into another comb. It's, whole, oh, again, amazing race. Okay. Orange and cocoa cookies. Topped with citrus. And cocoa sprinkles. Woo! January, February, exciting months. If you are a farmer on Turkey's Mediterranean coast, that's because all the way from a Izmir to Hadale, it's time to collect citrus harvest. Nearly, nearly 80% of the country's citrus fruits are grown in the Mediterranean coastline. How many cookies? Four cookies is 140 calories. These look so good. Okay. Yums also puts in uh, the yum bag. I'm hoping that the thing I didn't get is in here. The melon lime chews. Sometimes this bag is full and other times you're like, oh, there's only four items. Says us. Let's see. Yep. Well, there's three lime chews and some toffees. Here are the lime chews. Toffees. Lime chews. Tell me lime chews. Tell me about the lime chews. Melon on lime chew. Wildly juicy sweets. Meat. Soft melons. And, oh, yeah, Mystic Toffee. It's also in here. Taste a rare Turkish phenomenon. Dripping, dripping off the trees in the island of Chios, you'll find something fantastic. While locos are obsessed with gummy sap and all the refreshing piney glory, they put it on everything from liquors to foods to cosmetics. Most of the world doesn't even know exist. That's because it's harvested just almost exclusively by on Chiros, hence the island's nickname. Sek his island of gum. I did the American interpretation, or the English. Even though the island is no longer owned by Turks, Greece claimed it in 1912. The rare flavor remains a local staple. Take a bite and decide how fantastic the is m mastic really. I would love to take a bite. But, I still have to get uh, ready. I haven't had breakfast yet. But, I have decided this is not going to last. It has coffee in it. So, that will keep me. So, we're going to try to new today. Snowball. I want to see if it's any good. Or, I know it's good. I want to see if it's as good as our snowballs. Oh, so coffee. 
And look, there's hardly any of the little coffee flakes on the inside. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Mmm. You would think coffee. No, 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 no. It like melts into your mouth. No residue. I, I, I don't feel any residue of that. And the cake. So light. So light. Okay, we're. Oh, there's an alternative for this one. Okay, hold on. We're going to get to the cream. I can't get to the cream. Okay. Oh, huh. Very light, very yummy. The cream enhances the flavor of everything else. It does not, it's, this is not very sugary to me. Um, I do like this, cocoa cough, and coffee snowball cake. You can get chocolate and coconut puffs from Korea in the Universal Yum Shop. I think I might have to do that. I am so good right now. Oh, oh my God, that was so good. I want to suck all the goodness out of my mouth. <laughs> okay, what did you guys think of my Universal Yum? Um, I loved it. I don't really want to go to Turkey, but I'm glad I got to try their snacks. This was good. This was very good. In fact, so far, just with this, I like it better than the uh, Italy. Just saying. Don't tell my forefathers. Okay. You guys, I'm going to finish this. And then I'm going to go have oatmeal because that's my breakfast. You guys, have a good day. I have to go. I'll check you guys out later. Take care. Love y'all. Bye.